Capricorn, you are up for the August general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person here reading energy and tarot cards. You know your story, Ben never could. Now that I said all of that, let's get into this reading. So, I titled this reading, You Hypnotize People Everywhere You Go. And I'm not necessarily talking about as in physical, sexual type of way or anything like that. I'm talking about with your energy. Because the card that first came out is revered. Revered. So people, I honestly believe that people have a higher opinion of you than what you believe sometimes. Where maybe you feel like you're not appreciated or people don't always recognize you. I feel like their opinion of you, it could be work, could be friends, could be family, whatever. You know, pick your poison. It, it's a situation where the people don't express it, but really they they think very highly of you. And then the other card that came out is inquisitive. One of the reasons they think highly of you is because you have an inquisitive mind. You like to know things. You like to learn things. Also, you're a hard worker. So for that, those are qualities that people like, that people admire, which is why you're considered revered. Now, other two cards that came out is Conviction. This one is another reason why people admire you. You stand by what you believe in. What you believe is what you believe. And it can honestly be difficult to change your mind at times on something because once you see something a certain way, that's how you see it. That's the way it is. And, and you stand by your convictions. It's not, well, I'll feel one day, Monday, a different way, Tuesday, another way, Thursday, and half that way um, when, you know, Friday or whatever. And then maybe nothing at all on Wednesday. You're not that type of person. You're, you're one to stand by what you believe. And that feature and these features also where we can go to the physical, but again, I don't feel this is a physical reading type of reading energy, is that some people are attracted to you. But I don't feel it's the physical they're attracted to. They're attracted to your energy, your personality, your, your pureness, your convictions. That's what makes you attractive to certain people. They could see themselves settling down with you because of your of your stable mind and your stable heart. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. There may have been some changes or there may be some changes. The tower card is here, which is. Aries and Scorpio energy. Usually this is something shocking or is when the tower falls because the foundation wasn't strong enough to begin with. So maybe there was something that happened where you're having to start over again. You're having to rebuild again. Eight of Wands, which is communication and travel. Maybe you had to travel to do that. I know a Capricorn specifically that that happened too. They had to travel to redo some things and start somewhat from scratch and can, you know, build themselves up and, and work from there. And now they're, they're building a more solid foundation is what they're attempting to do. But that was due to communication and movement. Fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, the magician, having everything you need to make it happen. That's the other thing too. I feel the reason that you hypnotize people is because you can take lemons and make lemonade. And not everyone can do that, but you have the power the magician to make stuff like that happen where people are, like I say, in awe of it. They appreciate it. They're like, wow, I'm glad to have Capricorn on my team. That's what I get from that. Now, for some of you, you may feel like you're trapped, especially if you went from 
one cycle to another after this particular tower where it, it threw everything out of whack and now you're trying to recalibrate and fix, you know, make sure everything is right. That's the hangman energy. That's what's giving you some new perspective. Seeing things from a different perspective is what's happening. And you may feel like you're stuck, but really it's a learning experience for you. Also, I feel like this, I hear calling card. For some of you, if you feel like you're stuck in something, going back to the people admiring you and you know you being revered and people having convic in um, you having your convictions and being inquisitive and there's an attraction and everything else. I feel like you being observed during this time because you kind of are stuck where you're at is an opportunity for a calling card to happen. Meaning that once you have removed yourself from the new situation, because again, everything is cyclical. Once you have removed yourself from the new situation and you move on to something else, you may have left a calling card, meaning an impression on people where they may seek you out in the future to work with you or to do something else with you. But this will bring, this current status right now will bring in new things. I didn't even check to see what was under this. Something's telling me to check under the hangman. Yeah, exactly. That, that's why. Page of Wands. Giving you that new start. And this is also a messenger card too. Could be a fire sign that message, messages you later. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is about that curiosity, having that enthusiasm, having that passion for a new start. So that's what will happen when you come out of this hangman energy. Once things are a little bit more stable and you're starting new, you're definitely rebuilding again. And then under the page of wands is the three of wands. Meaning that you put in the work in the new cycle, so now the ships are coming in from that work that you put in. And finally, the Nine of Wands under the Three of Wands, which Nine of Wands is Wounded Warrior, but also Nine of Wands is about boundaries, standing one's ground, and still standing after hardship. And then about to complete another cycle, because Nine is before Ten, and Ten is the end of a cycle. So... Lots of things available to you. So it's almost like you have your personal stuff going on in your life. But you have people watching you. And they're still hypnotized by you. Even though you're dealing with your own personal internal stuff. Interesting. So yeah, you hypnotize people everywhere you go. It's your energy is what does it. All right, so Capricorn, that is your message. Until next time, be blessed.